What's up guys, Alex here with a tutorial on how to do a uh, masked object effect. So what I mean is, if you look at this video, you see uh, the text rises out behind this little object. So what we're going to need for this is an image and an image is all you need so just drag that into Sony Vegas and what you're gonna do is make three video tracks so right click insert video track insert video tracks and what you want to do for the top track is click this image bottom image hold control and drag it up there and we're just gonna put that on mute for a second go to the middle track insert text media and then uh, just go up any font, whatever you want, and then type in some, I don't know, random text. I'm going to go with probably red. And basically, I'm just going to put another effect just to make it look better. And there you go. So, what we're going to need to do is go to the text and event pan crop option and we're gonna need to go to the position and for width you want to make sure it's going upwards and the object you want the text to be behind um, the text has to be the same length of that object so I'm gonna make this text the same length as uh, this object right here so after you're done with that what you want to do is go to your compositing mode, click it, make sure it's set to 3D source alpha, and then for your track motion, <coughs> you'll get this little option called orientation. Now the orientation gives the um, text a 3D rotation, so if you go to the X orientation, it will kind of bend it forward, and if you go back, it will kind of bend it back. So I'm going to leave it on negative 5. And then for your Y orientation, it's going to kind of tilt it to any side. What I'm going to do is tilt it to the Y or to the left side. And then for the position, you want to make sure it's uh, uh, a little bit above the object. You don't want it too close or you don't want it too high and then for your X position you want to make sure it's around the middle of the object so after that you want to go to your top track unmute it and then for whatever object you want the text to behind you're gonna mask that so it's, it doesn't have to be a, a straight mask it can be messy it doesn't have to be accurate and after you're all done with that you want to make all every video track you want to make sure it's about 15 seconds because that's how long our image is going to be or our animation so go to your track motion for your text and go out for about 10 or 9 seconds and double click on space to make a keyframe and then I'm just going to go forward about 12 seconds and then for the beginning I want to uh, mess with only the Y axis of the position so I'm just going to lower it down until it's behind the object. So I'm just going to go to 50. Okay. And then if you go forward about 15 seconds, you want to make a keyframe. And since it's at 75, you want to change it back to 50 because that's how the text is going to um, rise and then go back down. So that's basically all you need to do. 
And for the zooming in part, you need to render out your uh, this part first. So I'm just going to go to File, Render As. So after you render out your video, you want to import it back into Sony Vegas in a new project. So first thing you want to do is go to your Event Pan Crop button. And the keyframe where we set the value for the text to rise up was at about 9 seconds. So we're just going to go forward to 9 seconds. And then we're just going to set a keyframe. And then what we want to do is zoom in until we can see the text. And then after that you want to go forward about 12 seconds. Set another keyframe. And then go to the way end of the crop timeline and then right click and on the crop area and click restore so I hope, I hope you guys like this tutorial if it helps please like this video comment on it and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time